So this week you have a writing assignment. You are going to complete the first part or create a resume. All right. So right here in the instructions, it gives you some really good examples of what a resume looks like for a head chef and a prep chef. So the first thing that you want to do is download um, this resume template. And I've already done that. Make sure that you organize it in your um, week two folder that you should have already created. And I have my resume template right there. And so as I'm working on it, it's already saved. All right, so this is what our resume template looks like. Okay, since um, I'm a teacher and my specialty is in English, I found a job that is related to that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is basically just kind of copy and paste information from your job description that relates to you and to this um, job description, okay? So the do job description says they're looking for dedicated, enthusiastic, passionate online teachers, coaches, tutors, okay? So right here, I know that they, right here, they want a summary um, of my skills and achievements, okay? So I'm going to want to use these keywords that they're using here, okay? So they want someone who's dedicated, enthusiastic, and passionate. So I'm going to create sentences. And this is the only place right here that you're actually going to use complete sentences. Everything else will not be a complete sentence, okay? So let me go ahead and write that up. So I wanted to show you these are the three U words that I pulled from this uh, top paragraph. Dedicated, enthusiastic, passionate. And I want to compare these two paragraphs, okay? This would be what I consider a good paragraph. You can see I've only highlighted these words, so you can see how I've used them. I am should be dedicated to serving your company. As an online instructor for 15 years, I am knowledgeable about web platforms. My enthusiasm, notice I had to change the form of enthusiastic. So what I see a lot of students doing is they keep the same word form, but it actually needs to be changed. So be aware of that, that you can change the ending of the words to fit. My enthusiasm for teaching is shown by the fact that I have owned my own private tutoring business for 10 years. I am passionate about teaching online because this allows me to reach others around the world. All right. So what I want you to notice is that when I use these words, I also include specific examples. This is a bad paragraph. I am dedicated to your company. I am an, an enthusiastic person. I am also passionate in teaching. Okay. While I did use those three words, I didn't add any examples. All right. So that's really what this first paragraph is, is to grab the reader's attention and let them know why you're different from every other applicant who's going to be participating okay so now in this area you are actually going to look back here and see what specific characteristics they're looking for okay they're looking for someone who is let me see knows how to be guided, um, who can teach children. Um, let me see. They want to make sure that you know English, that I have been experienced in teaching one-on-one -on -one online classes. So in my skills, I'm going to make sure that I highlight these things that they're looking for okay so let me go ahead and do that now so in the skills section you want to use specific verbs um and i'm gonna give you a list of strong verbs you can use okay but this is 
you want to make sure that the skills on each side are equal. You don't want to have four bullet points on this side and two on this side. Notice I have three bullet points together. But this side is the bad side, this side is the good side. Let me show you why. See if you can find the redundant or the word that I repeat. Taught English for 15 years. Taught online English. Taught typing classes. Okay, the same verb is used in all of these. We want to use different verbs and we want to make sure that they're strong verbs. Okay, so notice this side. I typed this up as I was looking for what they wanted. Okay, promote correct English pronunciation. Okay, so I created that bullet point from this one. They want someone who's a native or proficient in English. That means I know how to speak English. So that's how I came up with this one. This one, um, I said experience with teaching difficult learners. So this one, I actually used that same verb, which is okay, providing comprehensive material and resources to meet their needs, okay? They want to know that I have experience teaching different children. Um, and right here, create specific content for each student. That proves that I know how to teach one-on-one, -on -one, and also I know how to create materials, and that I'm responsible, okay? So make sure that in your wording that you are gathering the requirements that, that you want. And then in your experience, this is in the past jobs that you've had. Um, you're going to say the job title and so for example if you're a stay-at-home mom and you've never had a job don't say stay-at-home mom say um, caregiver okay and list the things you do as a caregiver so um, and then also on these ones you want to make sure that you have strong verbs and use different verbs all right, and you'll want to, after you type this up, you'll want to make sure that you don't have any random errors. So for example, January right here, it goes on to this next line. Present means that you're still doing it. If you're not still doing it, then you're gonna put the end date. January 2021 to March, I don't know. Twenty oh three. Okay. So oops, it deleted. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay. If you have any other specific questions, please let me know. Bye.